Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year to five his sophomore year to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. The dump off good for eight there on first down. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. 23 carries, 109 yards. Gurley again here on first down. Well, they set a nice tone in week one. He's among the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run out of the shotgun with Gurler. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Shut down. A look now at our starting defense. And they're squarely in the middle of the pack against the run this year, number 16 in the NFL. I jotted down in my notes in prepping for this game that this is definitely an area we got to keep an eye on because you're talking about where they rank in stopping the run. Well, how about what they're facing? This unit loves to run the football, and they rank highly in the league in getting it done. Yeah, power against power. Something's got to give. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. Oh, no doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. The numbers for White a week ago 
16 carries, 73 yards, and a touchdown. That's a good start to the season. They got the win, and they were able to establish a good running game. Nothing that just blew people away, but a nice, solid base to get things started. And they expect that to get tuned up and get better as the season moves on. Throwing is Brady on third down. Got a man. It's his tight end, Lance Kendricks. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. First down, here's White. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. On second down, they'll run with White. Now White lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. On second and a yard. Golf. Flush to his right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. They'll run. This is Daryl Henderson. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. A shotgun snap for goal. This is caught. It's Cooks. Touchdown, L.A. Brandon Cooks. His first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Give them a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Throwing again on second down. Brady gets it to Meredith complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. On first down, White. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. 
And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing there is Brady. That's into the hands of the tight end, Ellison. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. Now it's Brady. Catch is made by Harry. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And that goes for a gain of 31. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Brady gives this to White. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White. His second touchdown on the season as they are now on the board here in the first half. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing on second down, golf. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. On first and 10, gone. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. This is one of those plays that could go either way, but we've seen the influence of the college game now in the NFL, where we're seeing more and more of these plays run, and that one went for a big game. The first down run with Gurley, a good one. He gets forward for six yards. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. From the 29, Goff. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Going right side here, and that's complete. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack, though. Do they stick with it? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look foolish. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll run with White. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, is that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, That'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now it's gone. Wide open receiver complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a kill, really kill, nice kill. game. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Dante Hightower able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. Let's go. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get started up at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. And it's the Ravens who have the lead as they play the second quarter. Lamar Jackson has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head up to the Motor City to check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton with a couple of touchdown passes there. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Packers. Adam Thielen, a touchdown reception. In the game you're watching, it was Jared Goff with a strong first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already. And that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. 
And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. So here are the Patriots to take over. They were losers a week ago to Arizona, but they're on top here as they start this drive with a first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now a play fake, Brady. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now Brady. And he gets it complete to Latimer. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it, though. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's gonna earn him a new set of downs. They go right back to White here on first down, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. Fights through, and now a crease. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Aaron Donald with a sack. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. They will run with White out of the shotgun. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. And they've got another first and ten as the penalty keeps this drive moving. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Cody Latimer, his first touchdown of the new season. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. Extra point by Carson, up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll... the Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The sack by Michael Bennett, the native of tiny Independence, Louisiana. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Here's Gaul. Buying time to his left. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there. Scrambling for 11. From the gun on third down. Gaul. Just taken in one-handed. What a catch. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and five now. Goff. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Goff. They'll throw underneath for Gurley. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Now it's Gurley. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now gone. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Goff now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Left to be done. To throw is gone. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. Pass the 20. A huge play there on the screen pass. 42 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. On first and goal, Gurley. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. Todd Gurley standing by his lonesome in the backfield here. Second. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. Tyler Higby. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. Goff now to throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Brady now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Now left side on the swing pass, and he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. On play action, it's Brady. Got a man open, that's Harry. Powering his way forward. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And now off 
to the races down the right side. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. I don't think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there, first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Brady's throw there complete. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To throw, it's Brady. Open man is Myers. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Brady now rebounding nicely after the interception. He's hit four straight to start the drive. It's first down. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady gets into the hands of the tight end, Ellison. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. One of the advantages of his own defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of you. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Cody Latimer with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game, as his guys are back within a single score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air, because right now, we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then, I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here, or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left, as they call the timeout defensively. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Now Gurley. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. They find some open field here. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. 
And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Dante Fowler in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And he'll get that to Michelle, complete. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Brady. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 16. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Another carry now for Gurley. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should put a conclusion to this one. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one, we're thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for Los Angeles, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they'll fall to one and one.